Oh, g'day scrappers. Today I thought I'd uh, start scrapping out some iPads and uh, general tablets. Uh, so these iPads are um, 16 gigabytes. So I just want to scrap some out just to have a little look and a bit of fun. Um, broken screens and pretty smashed up and um, once I start getting into it, it's going to be even more broken. Um, uh, this one here, it's a slightly different version. It's got a different, um, bit of a different housing. Uh, it's, it's also the 16 gigabyte one. But as you can see, this one was really smashed up. Um, this is how they give them to me sometimes. They smash them up like this, so they, look, it's been bashed with a hammer, and they kind of think that, um, you know their data is not going to be recoverable whereas it probably still is um, I've got a few others like the Braun uh, uh, it's also 16 gigabyte so I might check that out if we got time just depends how long also got some uh, Dell um, I think I'm not really sure they're um, but they're all running Windows 8. So I've got a couple of them. This one's missing the back. So I might scrap this one out. Uh, save me opening up the back anyway. So yeah, if we've got time, I'll scrap uh, the Braun and the Dell. Uh, but right now I just wanna have a look at inside a iPad and uh, see what it looks like. And um, yeah, probably a good thing is to use some safety glasses because uh, trying to get into the screen, they're really hard to get into when you break the screen and it sends off little shards of, um, of glass everywhere. Let's get into it and have a little look and uh, see what we can um, kind of achieve here. Uh, yeah, the screen's already been semi-popped. So. Okay, well, we've got rid of this one first, so that's, that's a good start. But they're a little bit awkward to open up. And... I mean, there is a way to do it properly. Usually what they do is um, you put a heat gun around the screen, you take off the screen and, you know, you do it all slowly. But, uh, yeah, I'm not going to bother trying to open it up like a, uh, a repairman would do it. We just want to get into it and just have a look what's inside. And if they're actually worth scrapping out, or if they're just just junk. So okay. So it looks like we've just got the screen here. So it might be good just to leave this intact and send this off to LCD Recycling because uh, I can't do anything with them, obviously. have a little finger strip board in here just a tiny little finger strip board yeah not not a whole lot but uh, tiny little fingers there's uh, some MLCCs which will be pretty good ones, being a an Apple. Uh, so, so not much gold recovery there, but a little bit. Okay, and this screen, as I said, I'll just send this to LCD Recycling. Get it recycled properly. Now I've got some little bits of glass here.
just so the glass doesn't stick into my hands and stuff like that, you know. Um, all right, so we've got a battery here, and wow, there's really nothing, nothing in here. So that's the uh, lithium ion battery, or one of them it looks like. There might be these might be batteries as well. So I'll just again just uh, you know no scrap value. You can put these, you know I just put these in with uh, battery recycling and get them disposed of properly. Again, just looks like the battery, and uh, yeah, I don't want to open it up inside and you know expose any crap in there. So, wow, there's really not much to it, is there? Uh, geez, uh, unless there's there's something in the actual screen, but no, it's it's just a screen. So yeah, nothing there. All right. <laughs> well, that's the quickest scrap I've ever done on anything kind of computer. I'll just undo these little screws. Well, these are really, really tiny screws. So I'm just gonna have to pop these. I don't have that tiny little uh, screwdriver here. So there's just a, a little board that connected the uh, batteries. Uh, so there's you know really nothing there. Um, but this looks like just the the main board surely that that can't be just a motherboard can it it has to be there's really nothing left um, okay we've got this kind of uh, it's kind of like uh, aluminium based ribbon wire or something like that but there is some gold and uh, I'd imagine these contacts here would be silver and the ends out here are gold and looks like there might be gold underneath the sticky stuff just some little fingers so a, a little bit of value here but we're really uh, just put this aside So yeah, this looks like the main board. Um, so underneath these shields must be, um, yeah, pretty much the, the the whole computing sort of thing. Wow, hang on. Let me just have a look. Okay, there there are some. Um, Okay, so we got the the memory chip here. Very high quality little chips in here. Um, this BGA here is the uh, Hynix. The obviously it's probably the memory chip, uh, the RAM chip. This looks like the main Apple CPU kind of chip. It's got the 
um, Apple A5 written on it. Um, yeah, so they are all BGAs. And um, this tiny little, you know, it's so small. I mean, there are some nice little things. There's a little silicon chip there. Uh, but, you know, just so small. But that, I'm assuming that that's, that's the actual motherboard. Um, I mean, that's tiny. Yeah, very, very interesting. I mean, obviously everything's got to be miniaturized to um, to work in something as thin as a, as an iPad, but I just didn't expect such little. Uh, again, it's that stuff with a little bit of uh, gold kind of, looks like gold flashing anyway. Nothing really special there. Um, little uh, little connectors there they're actually quite nice they've got some quite good gold plating on there um, so I mean I can see the quality it's just such so miniature um, it's just amazing that they can develop and manufacture uh, such intricate circuitry and uh, and stuff there's just a little board in here that I kind of wanted to get out okay yeah it's basically nothing it's got some tape on it it's really got nothing on it Yeah, can't really see any gold plating there, so there's nothing really there. Jeez, was that it? Wow, a couple of little tabs there. This is uh, unbelievable. I mean, this is aluminium, I suppose. Uh, looks like it, but it's still got uh, bits of the motherboard of uh, the uh, screen. Yeah, this is kind of like membrane wiring in there that uh, from under the screen. But yeah, wow, that's the iPad. That's that's what they're paying so much money for. Um, pretty much, I think most of the value is in these, you know, quite nice flat pack kind of lithium ion batteries, and there's three of them. Um, wow, that's it. Now that's a motherboard. Now I, I, you know, I have to admit, I the chips on it. You know, this is a very high grade logic board. You know, uh, this would should sort of go with like at least hard, uh, probably cell phone logic boards. That's what I'd put this into a cell phone board rather than a a motherboard of any kind because uh, yeah these uh, chips are really high-end and there will be good gold recovery in this whole board so well that's it we've got the, the finger strip board so again with this yeah this finger strip board it's just it would just go as a peripheral board because there's there's just not any real chips on it and uh, just this little battery board that the three batteries connected to um, you know very small bits of gold plating so we do have a little bit of gold recovery there not a great deal yeah really not much probably best off just throwing this into peripheral boards these two um, some okay ribbons uh, uh, sorry you know gold pins and stuff but uh, 
very very tiny so yeah don't put this into motherboards put this in with your cell phone boards because uh, it's probably um, you know even higher grade than a cell phone board really well that was the iPad and uh, I've got this one here that's uh, really broken up and it's going to get really messy so I can't see that there's going to be anything really different in this one to that one it, it is slightly different um, you never know Yep. So the same deal. Now these batteries are really fat and swollen. Um, uh, it's a little bit different. So in this screen, obviously, we just got that finger strip board again. Wow. You uh. Oh, they're tiny little torques, about the smallest torques I've ever seen, so um, not many of you guys are going to have tiny little torques like that, but that's alright, we didn't really need it. So again, just a little finger strip board. Um, the rest, there are little bits of you know gold plating I can see here. Um, yeah, but very, very nice little they're nice little um, little fingers single sided probably better quality than most ribbon wire fingers are so I'll just put that in with the rest but yeah I'm not going to try and get into that any uh, anymore because obviously it's there's nothing in there and it's just going to make a big mess all right, but the board is definitely different, so it might, yeah, they're torques. Wow, talk about being uh, complicated. So th these kind of things, you know, would are very much like um, cell phones. Uh, I can't see any real difference to a cell phone because, uh, um, though, you know, a cell phone's obviously smaller. But it would be, you know, to process these like commercially, there would be no real difference in the process. Um, you know, aluminium backs usually, you've got the little LCD screen, you've got the batteries inside. These batteries are probably the only thing that would make, make it a bit more complicated to uh, recycle. But the, the uh, professional recyclers like Umicore and so on, they will get all the value out of this, no doubt. They'll get the gold and all that and the stuff that we can't really get. You know, we can only get what we kind of see, but you know, there are more precious metals to this that, and you know, obviously they will get the value out of the lithium batteries. Um, But as far as uh, like, you know, for those of you scrappers that like to buy e-waste to um, try and, you know, buy e-waste from auction sites and stuff, these uh, iPads wouldn't be worth buying because you're just not going to be able to recover the stuff like these lithium. You're not going to be able to recover this lithium and uh, inside it's almost like soft um, like play-doh <laughs> inside there but yeah again just tiny little little bit of the circuitry but this has to go to um, battery recycling and um, you don't want to throw anything like this into scrap steel or um, or anything like that got a little board here we can take and if I just threw this in a bucket and someone took this out, they're going to say, oh, that's a cell phone board. <laughs> you know, probably have no idea that it actually came out of a, an iPad. But, so you'll have no problem whatsoever getting cell phone grade for this. 
So it's pretty good money. It's about, I don't know, about eight eight dollars a pound, something like that, maybe more. Um, in uh, like in America, here in Australia, they don't sell um, or they don't buy cell phone boards for that much. Um, they pay about eight dollars a kilo instead of eight dollars a pound. So it's uh, uh, really works out to uh, less than half. But yeah, that's not a bad board. Again, so for me, I am. Um, you know, I wouldn't mind depopulating them and, um, you know, going for gold recovery completely. But for now, I'll just put these in with uh, my cell phone stuff and I'll deal with them another day. So, really, out of two iPads, we really got nothing out of it. That's all we got. So... Not a great deal to write home um, about, you know, after scrapping out two whole iPads, you think, oh, you know, so even, you know, by weight, you know, even these cell phone boards by weight, you know, it's not really good value, you know, so, you know, I, I suggest that if the, um, the iPads are in good condition and the screens are in good you, if they're really not worth scrapping, you're much better off just selling them as second-hand iPads. Obviously, this one's been smashed up. It's not going to sell. But if the screen was good, you, you, you're better off selling a second-hand iPad um, just for parts, you know, if anything. Uh, but, um, you know, these iPads are the 16... What are they? 16 gigabytes. So they're pretty old school anyway these days technology everyone wants you know better uh, so there you go all right well we might have a bit of time left on the uh, video so I got one of these borns uh, it's also 16 gigabyte we might check this out and uh, have a little look uh, the screen looks like it's already popped out okay yep so that's aluminium just clean up a little bit of the stuff straight into um, domestic or sheet aluminium all right well you know this looks a bit more straightforward so how's that and the difference in um, look at the size of this board you know and it's all very you know compared to this it's just so complicated and stuff you know they've laid this out really nicely and uh, yeah it's it's not you know it's not spectacular but you know it's got you know class 1 BGA chips here okay well, I'll just get rid of these batteries So, I thought they were going to be a little bit more complicated and detailed than they turned out to be. But yeah, very straightforward. So again, throw these in with your batteries. Don't throw these into your rubbish pin or in your scrap steel or something like that. You know, this is really bad for the environment. It's got to be recycled properly. So in with battery recycling only. You know, there's a lot of like department stores, you know, hardware store or um, uh, your stationary kind of stores like here in Australia we've got office works and in uh, the States you might have staples and they will have a little bin where you can throw your used batteries and cell phones throw them in there just for the next generation so you don't uh, we don't poison the whole world they're doing that enough with uh, nuclear waste and stuff like that already so um, well we can't do anything about that but maybe we can avoid a little bit so there you go that's the board the back is virtually blank um, this well yeah you might be able to get away with throwing this into something like a cell phone board it's a little bit less high tech than the Apple so you know, for me, I'm just more inclined to depopulate 
some of the chips here and maybe just throw it into low grade or maybe mid grade and yeah the only left thing left is uh, the finger strip board I always try and get that even though they're really small yeah not a great deal here but uh, still just a little finger strip board you know I wouldn't even throw this into finger strip boards because it doesn't really have much fingers to talk about here they're really lightly flashed so uh, you know I'd, I'd be inclined to take off a couple of the MLCC's and just throw this in with mid-grade boards and the rest of this same with the batteries we throw these in with LCD monitor recycling all right oh well we do have these Dells I'm not really expecting a great deal out of it but you know Dell is a pretty good brand so um, since we're here in case in case there's someone still watching <laughs> we'll uh, we'll see if we can just crack into one of these got a lot of little screws around here okay let's see if that was enough okay well, we've got a the battery here by the looks of it yeah okay so this is a whole lot different quite a heavy battery actually but, uh, yeah so certainly a lot heavier than the the iPad batteries this kind of looks a little bit more like a almost like a little laptop rather than uh, anything so we got the the little wireless card that's a good start so we got uh, some some gold fingers there happy with double-sided and you, as you can see the whole thing is pretty much plated this one and uh, it's only flashing but still it's you know it's still gold it's just not as heavy as say um, gold plating on ram fingers or something like that or slot cards you know it's it's a very very fine gold plating yeah because they've got the fingers and stuff you know it's up to you what you do with them but I prefer to just depopulate these try and remove all that steel take off my fingers take off all the chips and sort of keep, keep the board for uh, also for gold recovery another little one there this is um, oh you know whatever they are but again you got the the gold fingers we've got some we're gonna have some chips on this side and in the other side we're also got nice BGA's here so really high value little board this again I I would completely depopulate that okay so now we just want the main board Oh, there's another little little uh, slot kind of board. No, didn't expect three of them. So once again, uh, little gold fingers. Interesting. I won't complain. Okay. Yeah, very much like a laptop rather than a um, than an iPad or or, a, or whatever they call them. What do they call them? Not iPads. Uh, oh, I can't remember. Sometimes it's hard just trying to get the terminology of things as you're going, you know, because 
obviously I don't have a script here or a list of all the things that I want to talk about as you uh, you know as I come across things on as I'm scrapping you know at that moment you know the only way I would have the correct terminology for everything would be to stop the video and um, and think about what I'm looking at and then start again uh, that's not my style all right so here we go we've got a finally I can call it sort of like a motherboard we've got the nice uh, little copper kind of uh, heat sink here that was attached to the fan main motherboard uh, actually qu quite a bit of co uh, copper running through it it's only very thin but obviously we've got the CPU here So we can throw this in in with um, number two copper. So there we've got the the main CPU and it's uh, as you can see it's a silicon chip one. So for gold recovery, these aren't very good for gold recovery. Um, you know these are these four BGA chips, class one BGAs no problem we get good gold recovery there but this silicon one very very little not even worth taking it off the board really um, little battery so I'm inclined to remove these four BGA's and leave this on it and still sell it as a laptop motherboard we'll have a look at underneath okay Alright, so it is a quite a good good quality board actually. Um, yeah, very intricate. It's all very small stuff, but here we've got another four high class BGA chips, a couple of a uh, few tantalum capacitors, yellow and black. But these four chips are what you really want out of this. And this side here too you know some very tiny MLCCs and stuff if you want to bother with that personally I don't bother um, you know I do like these little pins here but the rest you know I'm inclined to leave so all I'll do is I'll remove these you can remove these BGA chips and pretty much you know and maybe some tantalum capacitors and a couple of little MLCCs and just throw it into mid-grade board or you can just leave it as is and throw it into laptop board just depends on what you want to do it's up to you me I'm inclined to remove these BGA's and and a few other things so there you go you got your BGA and they're just like they're like RAM BGAs so I class these as class one they're worth the most I reckon anyway and uh, yeah so that's it all right guys well there we go we did the brawn we did the uh, two iPads and one of the Dells and so that's the Dell Actually, the Dell wasn't too bad because we got all these little fingerboards as well. And, you know, and quite a quite a decent motherboard. At least it's got a bit of weight on it for a laptop board. Um, the, the Bourne wasn't a bad motherboard. Much more straightforward. It does have some good BGAs. Nothing spectacular but still pretty good and the two iPad motherboards 
they were kind of they looked identical apart from the slightly difference in um, width of the back cover so that was the first one that was the second one so not too bad either and we've got some finger strip boards and stuff like that so it, it was okay but you know for scrapping out four um, four tablets we really didn't get a whole great deal if it wasn't for these bigger ones you would have thought geez not much value there but we get what we take or we take what we get <laughs> alright guys well keep scrapping have fun and uh, I'll catch you next time with something else <laughs>